You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. No, I'm allowed to be here until the police come. Ethics just hold me back. You know, like friends who stop me from driving after I drank too much. Two dumb babies. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Freed. <laughs> I would like all of you to know we're not in this together. Welcome back to Two Dumb Babies. Yeah, I'm Eric Friedman. I'm Willie Simon. This and is Two Dumb Babies. We're back. We're back, baby. It's been a, it's been a couple of weeks. We've both been in multiple states yeah, over there. Yeah, I know, dude. We've a couple been, weeks, I think. Yeah, we've been traveling around, dude. <laughs> Losing money, probably. I made some. I made yeah. a little bit. I think I, did. I, I won most of my money uh, in Vegas <laughs> playing craps. <laughs> That's the right way to make your money Yeah, yeah in Vegas. You went out for shows, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lost money on those, made money in Vegas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But you're on a high from the shows. Yeah, exactly. That made you gamble. Yeah, for real. I was fucking confident. <laughs> so, dude. You know. Play the field again. Yeah. <laughs> 75 bucks. I got that. <laughs> hard eight. Hard eight. Yeah. 75. I make that in a week. <laughs> There's so many things on the uh, craps table I still don't understand. Dude, I was getting yelled at the entire time. Like, I, I don't even know how to play craps. Like I just know I won $700. And- <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know how to play. I know how to play the field, obviously. That's the easy thing. And I know how to play the, like, bet and play line. Yeah, and the pass the line. Number, yeah, the that's what you have to do. The numbers. They were yelling at me a few times. Like, yeah. you've got to play a pass line. I was like, I want the field. Like, you have to play a pass line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but the field I'm we're spilling winning beer on the table. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I guess if I have to play. <laughs> I'm still shocked the they let you stay when you were spilling and winning. Yeah, it's because I was winning. They're like, he's going to bet big and lose it all. Watch. And yeah. uh, never happened. But I tipped them. I tipped them twenty five bucks, which is, which is a terrible idea in hindsight. Yeah, I wish yeah. I kept it. <laughs> They're like this they were guy- really mean to me. I didn't deserve twenty five dollars. <laughs> yeah, they have money. They, they were, were betting against me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the house. The house always wins. You don't need to tip them. <laughs> Tipping yeah. the house doesn't like get anything in your favor. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I think people do it they all still the time. glared at me the next to. day after I yeah. did that. I'm like, Fuck you guys, dude. What a, should have given you five. People win a few hands and cards and tip them. I'm like, they're not. They're not like under dealing. They're not <laughs> yeah, gonna... <laughs> I'm not going to give you a, another king <laughs> just because you gave them a dollar fit the two dollar mm-hmm. chips that are just for tipping. Yeah, they're like, thanks. And they're like, hey, here's five, and also here's five ones, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> can I trade? I know this, what this is for. one in for quarters, so I can tip you. Yeah. <laughs> just start doing dollar bets on top of whatever my normal bet is, just to spite them. <laughs> yeah, you tip the. The waitresses, so they bring you alcohol faster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the only people who tip. Yeah, the dealers can only uh, get out of here quicker. Yeah, <laughs> they're not gonna do anything to help you. Yeah, like I'm gonna find a guy that speaks less English to deal for you. <laughs> That's what your tip got you. Yeah, Did you just play craps, or you play anything else there? Um, just craps. I was gonna do blackjack. Yeah, but uh, and then the night before I went to Vegas, I was in Palm Springs, won 150 bucks playing blackjack, dude. Nice. It's been a good week of gambling. Yeah. I'm about to be destitute. <laughs> that is. The way, it's been a good week of gambling, and in a year, you're, I'm going to be homeless. Yeah, <laughs> this is how you lose a lot more gambling. You're yeah, like, exactly. I make so much gambling, I think yeah. I'm just going to do this regularly. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, you can be a professional poker player. You can't be a professional craps player. Yeah. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> I'm sure One's there, kind sure of a game of skill. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones, you know... Choosing the right numbers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like uh, astrology or something. I was like, if I just pick every number, I'll win. And that's not how it works. <laughs> the more numbers I have, the more chances I have to win. Yeah. And it's like craps. And I'm like, ah, dang it. They took all my money on the board. <laughs> Good thing I also bet craps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gotta hedge your bets. What else did I see in Vegas? Nothing too crazy, honestly. Yeah, I didn't go to Fremont. weekend and nothing. Yeah. Oh, there was a ton of, there was like 17,000 South Dakota hockey fans there. What? 17, Wait, hold on. 000. I got a Dakota. <laughs> yeah. They were there because I guess that's the biggest. Like, hold on. South Dakota has more than 17,000 people. <laughs> Honestly, <yeah. laughs> probably not. That's the first question. <laughs> they were probably like fans from other states, too. Okay. I, don't think, I don't think they have that many oh, people. Also, they have a hockey team? Yeah. What else do they have? They got fucking. I don't know. That and stealing <laughs> land from Native Americans. So that's yeah. All they have, <laughs> they have uh, Mount Rushmore. Do they? Is that it? Is that South Dakota? Maybe, dude. I'm pretty sure it's I South Dakota. I don't even know. That's one of the most famous monuments in the world. And I'm still like, I don't know what the fuck. South Dakota. <laughs> I'm pretty that's sure. That's how not works. important South Dakota is. I can't <laughs> yeah. even know. Like, I know about a thing that's in there more than the state <laughs> itself. I've, I've been there multiple times. Dude, uh, we've done shows there. Yeah. Okay. That's where Sturgis is, that big bike festival thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds awful. Yeah, it's, it's pretty <laughs> awful. 
<laughs> Every time I'm there, I'm like, ah, I can't wait to leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were all very, uh, very big fans of the, uh, what is it? They're the, they're the Hawks now, but they used to be called the Sioux, and they're all really mad about it. <laughs> which they're is, all like, what the hell is it? They're all like, we're just, we're still the Sioux. You know? Which is, which is funny because they for sure hate Native Americans. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> South Dakota is a very racist, yeah, state. <laughs> like, hey, we blew up this big mountain to carve faces into it, but you can yeah. be a hockey team. All white. How cool faces. is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you couldn't have thrown one chief in there. Yeah, <laughs> just fucking for shits and giggles. Also, it's like. Hockey is the white, like the whitest team sport and everything. There's no Native Americans playing hockey. You never know, dude. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe baseball. Even then, there's not a lot of Native Americans in, in sports. Any sport. Yeah. Or anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> there's just, just in not general. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to yeah. them? <laughs> How come there's never a Native American in sports? Because there's like 20 left. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this cool mountain. I wonder if they had anything to do with it. <laughs> But yeah, there's 17,000 of them came, and then they lost to Arizona State. Yeah. I didn't see a single Arizona State fan there either. Oh, so this is college hockey. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just fucking, like, all about People it. People travel Yeah, there's no pro sport. teams in South Dakota. That's what I was asking. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> when I hear seventeen thousand people traveled for a game, I expect a yeah. professional. I don't think there's enough team. people in North and South Dakota to fill a stadium. <laughs> there's no fucking way. So you don't mean? So it's they don't even have COVID. COVID still hasn't made it to South Dakota. <laughs> That's how just, few people are there. You just mean seventeen thousand people were at this game then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not all rooting for South Dakota. No, no, probably. they were all rooting. For, there was <laughs> literally seventeen thousand South Dakota fans. Oh, okay. That's what the one of these people told me. I was like, <laughs> what, I was like, what, what are you guys like? The because they all wear green and like they're all wearing the they colors. They just counted and shit. them as they came into Nevada. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> One, they were like, two. apparently they're very proud of how their fan base yeah. travels. You know what I mean? So, Tony. Oh, two Tony tone. just got here, and now he has to fight Larston. Hell yeah. That's real. That's dog fighting. We should do dog fighting where one guy's a guy. <laughs> I think that's happened probably. Yeah. I think the guy probably generally loses unless they have a weapon. I don't know. Do you think you could fight a dog? Like a big dog? Like a dog fighting dog? Yeah. I don't know. They're pretty aggressive. I mean, I could fight one. I'm going to get pretty hurt. Yeah. It, and if it if it locks its jaw into my arm or no, neck true. or something. Yeah, you're fucked. Like, I'm going to have to, you have to fight the dog with one hand covering your jugular. <laughs> I just stand a little taller. Yeah. <laughs> They jump. <laughs> I'm sure, but how high, really? I mean, <laughs> pretty high. Yeah. Larson could jump and ju get you in the jugular for sure. That'd be funny. Like, world champion dogfighter Eric Friedman. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone booing yeah. me? <laughs> I've, I've killed more dogs than anyone. Why is everyone booing me? <laughs> the greatest dogfighter of all time. <laughs> I put up Mayweather numbers against dogs. <laughs> against dogs. <laughs> Nobody likes it. <laughs> I only fight small dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to go your weight class. <laughs> First round knockout every time. Yeah. Well, to be fair, pit bulls are heavier than Eric, so yeah, he's yeah. weighing in on the right. <laughs> Dude, weight he's class. He's fighting mostly fighting terriers. <laughs> yeah. I fought a, a medium-sized lab once. <laughs> <laughs> but we With found out he he was uh, actually uh, went down a class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to shave the dog. It didn't have any... <laughs> Fur weight. <laughs> it's like water weight for dogs. That would be cool. They do like the face-offs during dog fights. <laughs> I'm just growling at them too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a band. Alicia showed me a band that's uh, fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Most the precious, dogs. The dogs of. Are the lead singer. Most precious uh, bloods. Okay. Um, singer. Or I think all maybe all the band members. Yeah. Was it all the band members, Alicia? All the band, all the band members of Most Pre Precious Blood, a hardcore band. All of their dogs have a band. They're all the singer, and then they play music. Yeah, and they just bark, and their dogs bark. Yeah, it's actually pretty hardcore. <laughs> it's it very actually hardcore. sounds pretty. It's, I would fucking mosh to. I'd do a wall of death to fucking yeah a dog barking over fucking. It's more like double kick drum. It's more know? like death metal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's dog metal. Yeah, dogs are much better at metal than. Other thing, because there's not much rhythm to there, yeah, uh, and it's it's much like I feel like death metal's very specific screams that are like the high pitch one, the low pitch one, the like yeah. pig noise, yeah, growl. Hardcore's a bit more yelly, 
Totally, yeah. Yeah, death <laughs> metal, you're doing everything but fucking speaking English. <laughs> Dude, I grew up with a uh, job for a cowboy out in Phoenix. I used to play shows with them and stuff um, back when they were just getting going, and their lead singer would do, like, the pig squeal things. And for the first, like, probably half a year to a year of that band, he did not have lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then- all right, this is the bridge. I'm going to do horse noises. Yeah. <laughs> Can you write a lyric? Yeah. That's just so fun. You're like, well, what's your favorite part? I really like the lyrics to the song. Like, yeah. What are they saying? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it really just touches me. I'm going through a breakup. It's really just <laughs> yeah. big. You know, just the way these guys can articulate pig noises. Yeah. Just say you like loud noises. <laughs> yeah. They're fun. Yeah, exactly. You think there's any autistic guys who like death metal? I think that's probably their favorite music. Yeah, I feel like I feel like autis- <laughs> autism and fucking loud noises don't always go together. You know? so no, that's, fucking, that's true. Yeah, but maybe it's like the specific sort of loud noises and it drowns out everything else. Yeah, he's like, it's I'm like, just a fan of pigs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just really like pigs and everything. <laughs> just a big. I'm just big into farm animals and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they do some of the sounds. Yeah. It's impossible to date as an autistic guy who loves death metal. Nobody, <laughs> nobody likes it. <laughs> Death metal and trains. And that's <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like that they count weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's the math part. <laughs> yeah, what's the what's the fascination with trains for? Don't ask me. I don't oh. know. <laughs> <laughs> you're not you're not yeah. artistic. You're retarded. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about trains? <laughs> Hey, man, you can have an idea on something or why something is. You don't have to be a part of the class. I think it's, uh, I don't know, dude. Maybe it's, because they're also kind of loud. They're kind of like everything I get. Maybe it's like uh, like autistic kids who are like rebelling. They're like, I love trains. They're loud. <laughs> and then all they're the other usually supposed kids to are like, like, we also like them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Patterns? Yeah, maybe. Straight lines? Yeah. Straight lines? Um, I don't know. I bet the bullet trains are nice because those are pretty quiet. Those are pretty quiet. Yeah. So fast. How how come it gets quieter the faster it goes? I know. That's <laughs> the fucking sense. that's the thing the Japanese figured out, dude. <laughs> that's why UFOs don't make any noise. They're going so fast. Because <laughs> they're Japanese? Yeah, because or... they're Japanese, exactly. <laughs> Japanese made. UFOs are Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a zero, not a oof. All right. That was terrible. <laughs> Fuck me. Tried to go into some to, language of uh, yeah. <laughs> like I don't know much about the language yeah. oh to be able to do this. We're more like the the zero World War Two planes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that wasn't a good joke. No, no. Try it again. <laughs> zero. Riff one more. More like UFO. <laughs> zero. I barely know her. That is not. This guy who was. Uh, like uh, over at the store, like a lot of people come over. They're like from Canada, you know, and they're like shitting on, they're like shitting on America, and they're always like, uh, always making fun of our school shootings. <laughs> That's like the first thing they go to. It's like, hey, at least we stand up to bullying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at least we do something about it. At least they finally shut up about healthcare. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which the kids yeah. who are getting shot also aren't getting. <laughs> yeah. Hey, honestly, <laughs> if you guys had uh, more shootings, you could use that healthcare. Yeah. <laughs> That healthcare is going to waste. If you get shot in your in, country, if you get shot in school, you should uh, at least get free healthcare for life. Yeah. <laughs> you should like, you should get something yeah. like Obamacare. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Not even Blue Cross. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> There's definitely no Blue Shield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blue, the Blue Come, Shield usually ends up being like a football coach. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> The thin blue shield. Yeah. <laughs> the blue shield was outside the school. Yeah. <laughs> that was oh, yeah. the problem. They were scared to go in. That's the thing. The blue shield's always so terrified to go in. <laughs> we don't want to go in. There's guns going on. <laughs> we only shoot people we're not sure have guns. Yeah. Have you been that shot before? Gun, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> Everyone's like, and it's, you know what? It's hard being a cop. You're like, yeah. So go do the hard thing. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't sound like it's very hard waiting outside something. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's, it's not hard if you don't do your job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> go prove to me it's hard being a cop. Go fucking do the hard thing. <laughs> don't just complain on fucking TikTok that everyone hates you. Yeah. That's not hard. It's just like, though, we should respect all teachers. Not all of them. Yeah, just every the ones that teacher? do a good job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
And that's funny too. Everyone's like, oh, like, like I don't think school indoctrinates anybody. Mm. Yeah, you know I, mean? I don't think we're fucking. Like, you're not actually getting fucking brainwashed or anything. Like, that's like a 25-year-old ASU graduate who just got fucking hammered last night. <laughs> she's not indoctrinating anyone. <laughs> and she's a she's fucking a 25-year-old moron, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> Who's good at math. She's trying to survive the day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't think school indoctrinates you as much as just, like, teaches you that you can be lazy <laughs> and still be okay. <laughs> I think it it probably used to indoctrinate you back in like at least the seventies, maybe before then. Maybe yeah, and yeah, because when, when it was all like nuns and because the teaching like demographic changed. Yeah, it used to be like fucking either like super religious or like you know you'd take it very serious. Like I'm a teacher and I'm very professional. Now it's just fucking like that guy had a threesome last night. Yeah, <laughs> one of them was a student. Yeah, one of them was a student. <laughs> it's not the same anymore. <laughs> Yeah, before they used to only have two sums with students. <laughs> like, exactly. Times upgraded. have changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I had lots of bad teachers. I don't have, like, teachers that I would ever be like, I'm going to go back and see that teacher when I do something good. I had <laughs> one guy, but he always comes to my stand-up shows when I'm home, so I never yeah. have to go visit him. That's good. Also, visiting school yeah. to fucking go see a teacher, like, we know what you're doing. You're trying to... Get teenagers numbers, <laughs> you creep. You creepy fuck. <laughs> Trying to fuck that teacher that you always wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm older now. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, like but an so adult. are you, gross. And I'm successfully, <laughs> oh, you aged too? <laughs> what the hell? Hey, how come you aren't young and hot still? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 20 years? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Your husband's dead now? Good for me. <laughs> Good for me, that's one point. That's a plus. <laughs> Chalk it on the board. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you're one and one right now. Keep going. <laughs> I see that hyphen in your name's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your hottest teacher? You have a hot teacher? Yeah, we had a few in high school. One of them did sleep with a student. <laughs> hey, hell yeah. <laughs> it was a it, woman or a guy? It was a woman. Hell yeah, I, that's I've, fine. I've had both. I think free all the women <laughs> who have had sex with their students. Fine. Dude, I've, whatever. I've had both. At in Agora at Agora High, it was a lady and in Phoenix. It was a guy. <laughs> yeah. See, I think it should be a harsher punishment for the guy. The guys should be shot. Yeah. And the girls should all go free. That's what I think. <laughs> guys don't go to jail. They get, they get shot. Get I already said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they get the fucking chamber. <laughs> Take them out to the dodgeball court <laughs> or the handball court. <laughs> the wall. <laughs> Every morning, it's like fucking like Revolutionary War mist, <laughs> and they're just shooting <laughs> fucking <laughs> molesty teachers in the back outside. <laughs> it's one of the electives you can sign up for firing squad. Yeah. <laughs> it's part uh, of PE. I was, I was really hoping we were going to get through this yeah. year. That I yeah. to do this again. <laughs> but how great is this? A PE credit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to run this year. That's what's pretty good about yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's, do you think I have the blank or do you have the blank? <laughs> <laughs> that's how we bring the guns. You want guns into school for the good guys. Yeah. They have a firing squad that's yeah. properly trained. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're like hall monitors. They yeah. get guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't give teachers guns. We should give select students guns. <laughs> Only nerds, not too nerdy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool nerds, cool, cool nerds. nerds, cool nerds. <laughs> <laughs> you see the fucking uh, the whatever the Stoneman Douglas guy got sentenced, and they oh, didn't yeah. they didn't give him the death penalty, and everyone's like, "What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> What's hey. the death penalty even for? If not I for know. this." <laughs> It's if for, we're not going to use it for this, we should just get rid of it. <laughs> it's for people who are slow but technically not retarded. That's, yeah, exactly. that's what it was for. Yeah. Hey, we only use this for black Sorry. guys who only murdered one person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or that some white lady said they did. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Hearsay. This is used for hearsay. <laughs> when we actually have people who, uh, who are witnesses to the horrible thing that happened, we do nothing. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, if it's a maybe, we'll kill you. If it's for sure, let them live. Yeah, capital punishment's a crazy thing. It's crazy we still have that. Yeah, not in all states. Yeah, not in all states. Not in a, I don't know what countries still do that. Russia. Tony, <laughs> can you look up what countries still do capital punishment? I'm going to guess uh, Russia, China... Uh, everything in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of the Middle East. Yeah. Um... um <laughs> 
South America, only if you're against the uh, current ruling party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> South America recently. Yeah, South, America. <laughs> South America in the last five years. They're uh, bringing it back. Nicaragua, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brazil Brazil just recently. Yeah. Here's a short list. Uh, China, India, the U.S., Singapore, Indonesia, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nigeria, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Japan, and Taiwan. We were Japan, sp- huh? We were smart to just say the mi- Middle East. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were dead right. Dead right. <laughs> we so were Middle even, East and us. And us, yeah. And, and Russia. Russia and, us. and Russia was in there. Russia was in there? Uh, not in this list. Yeah, oh, I didn't what? see Russia. Yeah, Russia's good. <laughs> they just don't call it capital punishment. <laughs> yeah. It's called something else. Yeah. <laughs> Serving your country or something. Yeah, they call it the gulag. Yeah. <laughs> you, fucking, you just disappear. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't had any anyone yeah. capitally punished. We've had a lot of disappearances. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't believe in capital punishment. Everyone dies in jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Russia. <laughs> Doesn't matter what your sentence is. You're going to die. <laughs> oh, yeah, Russia. Yeah. Russia, too? Hell, okay. yeah, I right. told you. That's too bad. <laughs> I was really hoping Russia was doing something good this year. <laughs> Thought they were nothing, have something. nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Dude, I found out um, uh, the mob has started taking over wind energy in uh, in Italy. Wow! I was just yeah, I was looking because I was researching stuff for the the water bit and Dude, whatnot. The mafia and is uh, very <laughs> environment forward, <laughs> but but the reason they're doing it is just because it's not well regulated and there's lots of uh, government subsidies. Beautiful. So they're just what a like, better way they're making to get... millions of dollars off the government and like bullying people out of the sector of wind <laughs> energy. <laughs> what better way to get fucking wind energy into the <laughs> forefront? <laughs> Mob's doing it now. We're gonna have wind energy everywhere. Yeah, we're bootlegging again. It's just water though. <laughs> we're bootlegging yeah, water energy. They're gonna be they're gonna be hired by uh fucking Nestle. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, dude, Nestle is like they meet our new uh, marketing team, <laughs> <laughs> the Mob. <laughs> <laughs> Should have really come up with a new name for them, at least. <laughs> I love that <laughs> they're fucking biggest environmentalists in the world. We use water more than anyone, mostly to drown. <laughs> we gotta have water, <laughs> but but we need it. <laughs> They're not worried about clean water, though, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just water that's not thick enough that things float to the hey, top. You know our motto, <laughs> clean water, dirty business. <laughs> Here at the mob. <laughs> Here at the mob. Here at the mob, we believe in clean water and dirty business. <laughs> see them start advertising. The, is the mob really coming out as a, as a corporation yeah. now? <laughs> we made Greta Thunberg a made man. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was looking up too. Women still can't be made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> it's still like, still like no way. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least the mob. Hey, at least it's not the woke mob. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> woke mob. That's somewhere else. <laughs> We're the regular mob. Yeah, and they're doing way less with wind energy. <laughs> yeah. The woke mob is natural enemy is the PC police. <laughs> I'm on the run from the PC police. I'm the dawn of the woke mob. <laughs> dawn. I got, dawn Dem. I, I got. I got. <laughs> they go by Dawn Dem. <laughs> I got made for yelling at someone for misgendering my dog. <laughs> <laughs> PC police is always, <laughs> always fucking going against Italian Americans. Yeah, PC police, the only police black people don't have to be as afraid of. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, a good place to fucking yeah, close. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Big laugh in the end. I love that, dude. We gotta go. Uh, yeah, we're starting the. Uh, yeah, we're starting the rip off over at the uh, the Comedy Store Records. So. Um, we're going to go do that right now. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the episode. And check out the ripoff. Um, it's going to be on a, a fun network. So, yeah, yeah come uh, come check that out. Yeah, and check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Two Dumb Babies uh, for tons of extra episodes of Two Dumb Babies as well as the ripoff early mm-hmm. and several other episodes of it right yeah. now. We'll still be doing Two Dumb Babies um, just over here. So if you uh, 
If you like Two Dumb Babies, please keep supporting it. We uh, we love doing this. We love uh, we love you watching it. So thanks for uh, all the support. Um, and yeah, we love you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.